Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a master key for a master lock combination lock as such. Um, please remember not to use this for any illegal purposes, it is just for fun. The materials you're going to need to do this are one master lock combination lock with a keyhole in the back, a key blank that fits the master lock combination lock. Uh, the website can be found on your screen or at your local hardware store. You also need a Dremel tool or a metal file. Alright, so the first step is you insert the uh, screwdriver, slot head screwdriver. Uh, you put it in the keyhole in between the, uh, the back plating and you just hit it with a few good taps. Alright, so you're just going to slowly work the back plate off here. Keep working it off. There you go. So now you can, get, you can discard this piece. Alright, the next step here is going to be to get this big, bigger back plate off. It's a little bit thicker. Um, the way I did it was, you just take your screwdriver and hammer, work this little outer casing off. This little outer edge, you just got to work it off with the uh, hammer and screwdriver. So, this, should, this is probably the hardest step of the whole process. So, you're just going to go around the whole thing. Slowly work it off. All you need to get out of the inside of this lock is the keyhole. Now you got the keyhole, you have to make three incisions. The incisions have to be right there, on top, and on the side. Um, you're going to make the incisions with a, a standard saw, uh, whatever you would like to use. Alright, you're going to take the saw now, you take the metal saw, and you're going to saw off the side portion of the lock. It takes a little patience, you have to go back and forth. But the object here is to get rid of, this, get rid of the metal casing around the keyhole, we just want the keyhole itself. Alright, now that the second incision is done, you're going to take it on the top and make another incision on the top. Um, see the little holes, you're going to cut that with the saw. And then what you're going to do, you're going to tear both sides off that you've sawed off now. Just work it off. There we go. Alright, now you got to be really careful here. Because this casing is free. It's free from the casing. They move around. The springs are located down here. So what you're going to have to do is flip over the keyhole and very, very carefully lift the casing off it being sure not to move. The pins are going to go flying if you move it too erratically. So carefully take it off. The springs come out right there. What you see there are the pins. You can remove the top pins. You don't need the top set of pins. What you need is the bottom set which are located in there. So you can get rid of those. And there's pins. Four pins in there. Now each keyhole has its own set of these bottom pins. Like they're all different sizes. So for example, for the V67, the, these are a certain size. So what you got here is the keyhole with the pins in it. Now that you got the inside of your keyhole with the pins on top, you're going to insert your key blank to the hole. Alright, as you can see, all the top pins all jumped up. So you got to file down this key. You keep taking it out and filing it down to make all these pins flatten out. Uh, you got to make them flat right on the top of the casing uh, using your Dremel tool or metal file. Alright, now I think I've done a pretty good job at filing down this key to make it fit the keyhole. Alright, so I'm going to test it out by inserting it into the, the inside of the keyhole. And as you can see, all the uh, pins are perfectly flat along the top. There's nothing uh, coming up, but they're not. it's not ground down too far where the pins are deep into the holes. They gotta be right on the surface. So. Alright, now that your uh, key is complete, you can test it out by uh, putting it in the hole of another combination lock, opening it up, and it works. Again, just put it in the hole, turn it, pull it up, that's it.